So what I have right here is the new Surefire X300 Turbo. Now, if you've been living under a rock for like the last 20 years, or maybe you're only buying lights that your favorite YouTuber is using from Asia or some other places out there, uh, this is the X series of Surefire light. It's been around for like 20 years. When they first came out, they were a couple hundred lumens, incandescent bulb, really not that powerful. Law enforcement used them. The military picked it up pretty quick, special operations guys. And over the last 20 years, Surefire has been updating it with different models, 500 lumens, 600 lumens, the Ultra Series, the B model with the thumb screw. And now the latest iteration is the turbo itself. Now, what makes this light unique compared to the other X300s out there and a lot of the other pistol lights out there is this is a high candela light. What that means essentially is it is a long range, more focused pattern than your traditional pistol lights out there. Uh, with this light right here, you can engage targets at around 150 meters. Now you might think, well, why on earth would I wanna shoot a target with a handgun light out to 150 meters? And that's a good question. You know, maybe you have the skill for that, maybe not. Uh, but the fact that this has such a concentrated beam that is so powerful, allows you to overcome all sorts of various lights based on what situation you might be in, someone else who might have a handheld light, someone else who has a traditional pistol light, like an older X300 or the X300 Ultra or a TLR1 or some of the other lights out there. And there's a couple things about this light, because there's a couple companies that are getting into high candela pistol lights, but one of the big uh, benefits to this particular light right here that Surefire is making is uh, they were able to upgrade the distance, uh, the throw of this light, without changing any of the dimensions or the size of the light itself. What this means is all of the tens of thousands of holsters out there, Safari Lands, uh, T-Rex holsters, holsters from other custom Kydex companies, uh, you're gonna be able to use this light with. If you already have an X300 holster, you know, uh, Safari Land, whatever it is, uh, you're just fine. You don't have to go buy a new holster. Uh, it's gonna work with the entire ecosystem out there of other X300 products, and that's something I really appreciate. They were able to squeeze all of this power out of two CR123 batteries. They didn't have to upgrade to 18350 rechargeables like a lot of the other lights out there. They're able to use these guys, which I like these a lot more in some ways. Uh, it's a little more, it's from a logistical standpoint. Uh, they're a lot more common. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. Uh, the rechargeable 18350s out there are, have some benefits as far as uh, the juice you can get out of them, uh, but then you have to like have a recharging station and all that. So two CR123s power this guy right here, and that's something that I really appreciate about the light itself and the fact that it just fits every holster out there. But let's actually show you guys how this compares to the other X300s out there, some of the other weapon lights, and let's actually get to shooting. All right, so what we've got right here is a collection of lights, including the turbo, and we've got a bunch of USPSA targets range 40 meters, the first row, and it's nice and wide because we're gonna be checking out the flood of each of these lights. We have another target at 100 meters, and then we have one all the way at the back berm that's at 150. So starting off, I've got the X300 Vampire right here. This is a cool light, it's dual purpose, it has an IR function and a white light function as well. Uh, now based on the technology going on in here, it doesn't put out the most lumens and candela on the white light side. It is very bright on the IR side though. Uh, so in the white light uh, mode, I can see targets at 40 meters just fine. I can sort of kind of see the target at 100 can't really see the one at 150, but it actually performs pretty well. It is a very focused beam. Uh, I'm not seeing all three targets at once, uh, pretty much just one at a time here at 40 meters. And that is the X300 uh, Vampire, which is a pretty cool light if you're doing night vision-y stuff. Uh, we have the Ultra right here. This is the one that they've been doing for a few years now. It's a thousand lumens, uh, 11,500 candela, something like that. And uh, with this guy right here, you'll see it spills a lot in the front. It's nice and wide. I can see all three targets pretty well when I focus on the center one. All three USPSA targets at 40 meters. The guy at 100, I can barely see. I can actually see it a little bit better with the vampire light because it's a little bit more focused into a center beam. And then the back target at 150 past the vehicle. Uh, I can't see it at all. Uh, it's really not going to work. But as you can see, very floody. So if you're in a confined space or in a house or a room, uh, it does pretty well. The TLR1 HL right here, great little comparison, very affordable light, very cost effective. Uh, it's kind of, as you'll see, it's kind of in the middle between the Ultra and the Turbo when it comes to output. Uh, we're gonna shine this at the uh, center target. I can see the two targets on the side pretty well. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, kind of falling off, a little bit less than the Ultra, uh, but I can see that back target faintly at 150. 
I can just see the brown of the C-Zone uh, a little bit better than the Ultra. The Target at 100, I can definitely see. And so the HL, it's sort of in the middle as far as uh, the Candela, what it's putting out, and then the, sort of the floodiness of it. Uh, this is obviously a very popular light, uh, definitely competition to the Surefire series. Some people like them more, some people don't, uh, but it is a good option out there. And now we get to last but not least, the Turbo itself. Let's check it out. All right, center target. As you can see, I can't really see the targets on the side, minus the silhouette against the uh, light in the background over by the boxes. Uh, target on the left, target on the right. But let's observe the uh, 100 meter. I can see it very crisply. I can engage that with a handgun, not a problem. And if we go to the 150, yeah, I can see it pretty well. Pretty sure I can engage that with a rifle, especially with a little bit of magnification, an ACOG, a magnifier, something like that. But as you can see, this thing is, uh, gives me a lot of data, even on the targets at 40. I have a perfect crisp image of that target. I can see everything just fine, very focused beam. And then we'll just do a real quick comparison. The Ultra, so what's cool, what, sure, what Surefire is doing is they're not discontinuing the Ultra for the turbo, they're allowing you to buy both. And the Vampire, they're gonna keep that obviously, but you, you can buy either. If you want Flood because you want a more traditional light spill for you know CQB, room clearing, target identification up close and all that good stuff, uh, you can get the Ultra. If you want that distance, that throw, because maybe you just wanna direct the light where exactly you want it, you want, you're outside a lot, you're in big structures, you know, whatever, uh, you, can, you can do either, which is super cool. Um, so we have the turbo right here. We're just gonna shine at that uh, 100 meter. We'll go ahead and do momentary. Momentary Ultra really drops off here in the front. I can just faintly see the 100. Turbo, yeah, I can uh, Ultra, Turbo. So now I'm gonna position, I'm gonna center up at the 150. T can't see it with the Ultra at all. Turbo, yep, I can definitely get an outline. Uh, shifting to the center target, I can see all three targets quite well with the Ultra. Can't see them really at all with the Turbo. So you really get a pretty good comparison between both lights. So you can kind of pick your poison. Do you want that distance or do you want that flood? But now let's go shoot the sucker. in the head, we're good to go, two A zones. None of these appear to be doubles, and I don't have any deltas, so one mic, three Charlies. All right, our two headshots are good. L scored on center, 13, so one, two, three, four, five, uh, six Charlie, one delta. All right, our headshots are good with the one hand, and then we need 16 on paper. All good, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, five Charlie, two Delta. So what I just shot is a 50 round predetermined course of fire. One of the drills you can find on our website at trex-arms.com. Um, but what this is, is a number of uh, various tasks when it comes to running a handgun, uh, all combined into one drill. Every single string that we're shooting, we add all of our time together to get a total. I shot this in a total time of 43.28, which is, I think normally I do this in like 35 in the day um, with same same pistol, you know, SRO, Glock 17. And then uh, my hits, I had some, uh, I had a mic which really killed my score. Uh, I had three deltas that really hurt. And then what you do, uh, this drill is scored with what's called hit factor scoring is every single hit I have on paper is a certain amount of points. An alpha is five, a Charlie is three, delta is zero, a miss is minus 10. I take my total score that I accumulate over shooting the three targets, and then I divide that by my total time. So 
I'm, I'm combining both speed and marksmanship to give me a total time of 4.43. Uh, it's basically the points I'm generating, you know, per second, per minute, just like in, you know, video games, things like that. So I had a hit factor of 4.43 for the total drill. That's not bad uh, running with a handgun, especially with a, with a white light. Uh, big things to watch for if you are running this at night is uh, try to do your reloads with the light off. Uh, that, that's something, that's one reason I really like momentary uh, lights, such as the TLR. R7A, uh, and I can run. I can run the X300 on momentary. As as soon as I take my support hand off the gun to perform my reload or make my movement, light's going to be off. In this case, I was sometimes running it the light in constant because it sometimes in recoil uh, flips into constant. So I was having to uh, make extra sure that the light is off before I do anything so I'm not spotlighting my position, which with the turbo, it's even more uh, exasperated because it's just straight up a spotlight beam up into the air, especially with how humid it is right now. Um, the movement in the back, uh, running side to side 10 meters, uh, definitely ensuring that my light is off. I'm still able to move quickly. I'm performing a reload in between there. Uh, really not a problem. So give this a shot. It's a great little assessment of your skill, shooting a handgun out to 20 meters with some movement, uh, one-handed draws, reloads, target transitions, all that good stuff, uh, but that's uh, running this with a Glock 17 and the turbo and an SRO, and uh, it works pretty well. So I need eight on the left target. All scored, uh, three Charlie. This is the moment of truth, the mover. We're gonna say one mic, I don't think that's two. Yeah, so one mic, and then we have one Delta, six Charlie, and four Alpha. Uh, all scored on uh, right side, we've got one Delta, four Charlie, three Alpha, all scored. So what we just ran is the scrambler drill. Yet another drill you can find on our website. This is probably the most difficult one. It's the most technical. Uh, it's a four position course of fire on three targets starting at 20 meters. The center target's always shot on the move, which in this case, you know, at night with a white light and then having to deactivate the light constantly uh, makes this drill quite a bit harder. I shot this in it with a hip factor of 2.45, which is uh, pretty rubbish considering I had a mic, which is a loss of a lot of points. Uh, plus penalty, uh, two deltas, a ton of Charlies, more Charlies than alphas. It just really uh, wasn't great. Normally I'll shoot this in, with like a five plus in the day with a carbine and then a four-ish plus with a handgun uh, in the day, you know, not activating a light, doing all this stuff. Uh, if also, if you're shooting this drill at night, it's important to note if you don't have fancy lights indicating the positions, you may have to move a little bit slower and potentially even activate light on the position you're moving to. Just a quick one tap to go up, oh, that's where I'm going, arrive into position, and then begin engaging. So no matter what, this drill is going to be much slower to shoot at night if you are using light discipline, not just leaving your light on all the time. And, uh, but it's a great drill to work your light use, both rolling out of position, rolling into position, turning your light off before sprinting. Uh, just a great drill for uh, white light use um, if uh, you know that's something you're into, which you should be. Well, the X300 Turbo is a dedicated pistol light. Uh, you can run it on a rifle. And with this sort of output, it actually could make a lot of sense on a rifle. There's actually a really cool way you can mount it here up to the 12 o'clock position. You can hit it pretty easily with either hand, whether you're a lefty or righty. Shove this rear side up into the rear, and it's actually a nice compact little system. But what we're gonna do is, uh, they do have the Turbo Series coming to their rifle lights, uh, Surefire that is, uh, but we're just gonna get some reps in with the X300, take this out the distance on this particular weapon, and also shoot some drills up here to show that, hey, this little pistol light uh, is actually a nice little contender on a carbine. So let's do this. So 
So we're running the G33 3X magnifier from EOTech, an old EOLAD on C zone at 150 meters. And that's on a reduced C zone, so it's not the full target. It's like the C and that's it. So yeah, the X300 Turbo will play. So if you're looking for a pistol light that can get you a little bit further, give you a little bit more information, get past car headlights, get past people's flashlights, the Surefire X300 Turbo is most likely, at least right now, going to be one of the best, if not the best option, as far as holster compatibility versus just the quality of the light, the company that's backing it. So I know I'm gonna be running them. I, there's a time and a place to have a light that can flood. There's a time and a place to have a light that's super narrow. Which of the two is better? Well, nobody really knows, but it is gonna come down to what you're interested in based on what you wanna do or what you think you might be you know, encountering. Having an X300 Ultra, just the standard nice big flood, may be the best option for you, for your house, your house gun sitting next to your you know, nightstand that has a suppressor on it or something kitted out of its mind like that, and you have you know, a very small house with like little short hallways, yeah, maybe you want the flood and maybe that's a better option for you. But if you're running around outdoors like this and you want you know, that little focused beam, the turbo is going to be that light. And I wanna make a couple little points. When I was shooting the first drill at five meters on the paper targets, it was an extremely bright light, but it wasn't overpowering my vision. It wasn't blinding me on that paper target. I mean, yes, it was a very obvious hot spot. In fact, it was such an obvious hot spot, I could probably shoot off of that, not even get a sight picture. Washes my dot out completely, that's fine. I just take shots at that beam right on the target. And then when I was shooting distance at 150 meters, the humidity tonight is so intense, there's a lot of haze. I wouldn't be surprised if on a perfect night without all that humidity, I could push out to 200 meters with this light. And that's pretty incredible that we went from having really low lumen candela lights, incandescent bulbs back you know, 20 years ago to a light that I can now see, identify, engage at 200 meters. I mean, that is pretty awesome as far as technology goes. So if you're interested in this modern technology that is the Surefire X300 Ultra or the Turbo, we've got those available at trex-arms.com. Drills like the ones that we shot earlier, a bunch of other content you might be interested in, but remember, just because you've gone and bought one of these lights for 280 to 300 bucks, something like that, slapped it onto your pistol, doesn't mean you're, it's gonna make you competent or it's gonna make you be able to activate that light in the heat of the moment, you know, get it, turn, switch it off when you don't need it anymore. Uh, you are gonna have to train with it. You're gonna have to dry fire with it. And you might wanna take a low light class from some reputable instructor out there to get a little bit of extra uh, tactical knowledge possibly. So make sure you dry fire with it, make sure you train with it. Don't just slap it on your pistol and forget about it. It's a piece of kit just like everything else and you've got to learn how to use it. Thanks for watching.